without putting on a uniform Smart when nuts and rode a unicorn through the storm Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video And guys today what we're gonna be doing is ripping some packs We're gonna be trying to get the brand new Terrell Suggs and of course Calvin freaking Johnson Ultimate Legend cards guys there there are 48 hour boss cards currently in packs We're gonna do our best to pull one of these things guys. I haven't been able to pull any of the uh, the Ultimate Legends yet I actually didn't even pull packs for Mike Vick as crazy as that sounds. I know Probably should have attempted at least, but I was just too busy this past weekend, did not have time. So, um, I am going to spend some coins today trying to get Calvin Johnson, trying to get Terrell Suggs. So, we'll see what we can do on that end of things, guys. But before we do that, let's hop in real quickly and let's take a look at these brand new cards, guys, because they are really, really, really good. Um, the first one that I want to take a look at is Terrell Suggs. Currently, the price on the PlayStation 4 is $1.4 million. There's only three of them up, though, so it could very well drop below the one 1 million mark soon uh, but this is the card guys very very good attributes um, obviously I want to do a quick shout out as well to pixel pusher for the card art on these looking really really badass Terrell Suggs always has really cool cards but um yeah let's let's continue on here so again these are the boss cards so this one is a 48 hour only card um, it's in packs you can't do sets for this one but it's 90 speed with just ridiculous acceleration as well 96 acceleration so if you're sending any of those like B gap type of blitzes this card is absolutely nasty guys um, it's it's just a really really good card it's a left there it's uh, excuse me a right outside linebacker so uh, it, it's a little more difficult to send him unless you put him on your defensive line on some of those gap blitzes but if you're somebody who will send guys on the outside uh, and get edge heat he is a really really good card for that as well of course because of that speed and acceleration combination not to mention the fact that even if he does get engaged he's got 96 block shed 97 strength uh, his hit power is 95 so he's gonna force a ton of fumbles I mean this card is really 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 OP guys um, definitely one of the best cards that's currently in the game and this one just sold for 1.48 million as we're taking a look at it so again let's go in here and look at um, the the attributes here because I wanted to take a look at his uh, at his pass rushing attributes here so we've got a hundred power move jeez and then we've got still an 88 finesse move so a really good combination of both of those attributes obviously the finesse move isn't at the elite tier or anything but it's still really good um, power move as good as you're gonna find in this game uh, probably through the end of the year quite frankly I mean there will probably be a couple other guys that come out that have better but not substantially better this card is gonna be really really good and I think you're gonna be able to get it for you know under a million around a million at some point so um, I mean definitely a card to look at he's not very good in color Coverage, though um, I do want to point that out real quickly because I know a lot of people like to send their linebackers in coverage this cards it's not horrible but like it's definitely not built for that like 74 zone coverage isn't particularly great 64 man isn't good at all um, his play recognition is good so that's that's always a good thing so he can cut off some of those routes but um, for the most part guys this is a pass rusher so if you're somebody that runs a 3-4 defense this is a good player to have on your linebackers and send him on blitzes and if you're somebody that runs a 4-3 you're going to probably actually want to consider putting him at the defensive line because he's going to be able to get pressure from a defensive end position so um, something to think about anyway guys but let's go in here and let's again take a look at Calvin Johnson as well because I'll tell you guys I think Calvin Johnson right now you could make a case this is the best card in Madden 16 ultimate team um so, uh, uh, again, guys, there are actually two cards here. We do have the standard Ultimate Legend, which is really, really good as well. It's a 98 overall. I think it's kind of interesting that they're doing the the standard Ultimate Legends, well, most of them at a 98 or below. Uh, so, you don't actually get a 99 card when you do the sets. The only ones that are 99s are the Boss Editions, the 48-hour cards. And that's the one, obviously, that everybody's interested in. The, uh, the standard edition here is still going for $2.8 million right now. The Boss Edition, cheapest one up right now the PlayStation 4 is almost 7 million coins. I would have to spend all of my coins to get Calvin Johnson. That is insane. I don't think he's worth that. But again, guys, I do think this is probably the best card in the game right now, at least on the offensive side of the ball. 99 overall, again, guys, 6'5", 97 speed, 100 catching, 100 jump, 100 spectacular catch, 97 catching traffic, 97 route running, 97 release. I mean, literally everything you would look for in a wide receiver, he's great at. I mean, it's crazy. Even if you go down here and look at some of the other stats, guys, I mean, you look at, like, his run blocking being a 70 
95. That's not even bad. Um, elusiveness is good. Ball carrier vision, if you ever would need that for any reason, is good. Stiff arm, solid. I mean, spin move, juke move, all these types of things are really, really, really good. I mean, this card is an awesome wide receiver, guys. I mean, obviously, you guys know if you played Madden 15, if you played Madden 25, um, and you had Calvin Johnson legend cards or, or, you know, really overpowered Calvin Johnson cards, you know that Megatron is the man. So that's the one that we're really hoping for. Obviously, I would be stoked if we pulled a Terrell Suggs as well. But, um, you know, if we could get a Calvin Johnson, that would be freaking amazing. I would definitely want to get some gameplay with him uh, before I inevitably ended up selling him just because... Man, 7 million coins. I'd rather have the 7 million coins and upgrade elsewhere. Uh, but with that being said, guys, let's go in here and we're going to take a look at the store. Uh, right now, we do have legend bundles in the game if you guys are interested. 7,500 points. Um, you do get guaranteed an ult you get, do get guaranteed a, a standard legend, but that also means that you could get one of the ultimate legends as well. Um, the three pack bundle does also give you a bundle topper that contains four legend items. Eh, not really that great. But um, you can also pull legend packs as well. So we're probably going to do two of those because you can get two of them right now. Uh, and then for the rest of them, guys, we're just going to open up pro packs. So let's go in here. And by the way, I want to point out the pro packs, like the standard pro packs are almost hidden right now because of this campus uh, pro pack thing. So uh, basically it's a standard pro pack, but you get a camp campus hero item. So uh, it's kind of weird, but um, I don't think we're going to spend money on, on getting that. So let's go in, guys. Let's open up some of these pro packs with, uh, with standard coins here. Hopefully we can get some good luck. I've mostly had my best luck just pulling regular old pro packs. So that's what we're going to try and do. Um, and like I said, at the end, we'll do our best here. Uh, we're going to open up the two legend packs that you can do with coins. So I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about this? I mean, is Calvin Johnson, obviously, I, I mean, I don't think anybody would really say that a card is worth 7 million coins right now. Like, that, that seems kind of unrealistic for it to be worth 7 million coins, but... I want to hear from you guys. I mean, do you think that this is the best offensive player in the game right now? Or do you think Mike Vick's better? Or um, is there something else out there that's even better than either of these that I'm not thinking of right now? I mean, is there a, like, I know a lot of people like the Marshall Falk running back card. Um, I'm trying to think of what else would even be out there that would be uh, like Odell Beckham Jr., that 99 overall, um, Marshawn Lynch, Steve Young. Are any of those cards better than Calvin Johnson? Obviously, they play a different position, but like if you could have one of those cards, if you had to choose one of them and have it on your team for the rest of the year, which one of the cards that's currently out right now on the offensive side of the ball would you choose? Would you choose Calvin? Would you choose somebody else? I'm interested in knowing, guys. I think I would probably go with Calvin, to be honest with you. Um, the combination of six foot five, along with just like beastly attributes on everything else. I mean, the fact that he's got the high jumping as well, um, the spectacular catch, all that kind of stuff. You want to talk about an aggressive catch monster? I mean, it, early in the game, we saw guys like Herman Moore and Brian Finner in that were pretty good. They were like, you know, the low 90s overall. Now we're starting to talk about guys that are in the high 90s in every attributes for a wide, uh, for a wide receiver. And Calvin Johnson, it's just... I don't know, man. His cards are always so glitchy. Last year, I think I, I had a Calvin Johnson at wide receiver, and it was probably my favorite card that I had on offense, to be honest with you. I mean, you could just throw the ball up to him, and that was even before the aggressive catch. You could just throw the ball up to him, and he would just make insane plays on the ball, and especially back in Madden 25 as well. I mean, the card was just absolutely ridiculous. We're going to go down, guys, to about uh, 7,150,000 or so. Um, so we can stick around the 7 million mark after we're done with today's pack opening. Um, so we're going to go down to 7,150 so that we can also open up the, uh, the two legend packs and stick around that at least. If we go a little bit under, not really a big deal, I don't mind, but hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get something good in these packs here. I did just do a, a decent sized binder clear out and we get, oh my goodness, dude. When I saw that background, I was like, holy crap, but we do get a Donovan Smith. Uh, so that's kind of cool. We get an all-rookie elite player. I don't really think this is going for much right now. Let's take a look at his attributes. Compare him to my current starter at left tackle, which is Greg Robinson. I think Greg Robinson's fairly underrated. Um, his pass blocking isn't spectacular, but he's really, really good at run blocking. So that's why I'm starting Greg Robinson at left tackle because I, I like to run the ball, especially off the left side, outside a lot. Um, and he's got really good impact block as well. So, uh, yeah, he's he's my guy. One thing that I think is interesting about this Donovan Smith, 88 speed. I just noticed that. 88 speed. What is his acceleration? He's got 88 speed and 88 acceleration. 
that's like the speed of a wide receiver. I mean, that's faster than a lot of wide receivers, actually. I mean, that is absolutely crazy. I had, I did not realize that he was that quick. So that's kind of an interesting card, actually. Um, if you're somebody that pulls with your tackles, yeah, that, that could be an interesting card. But um, he probably won't start for me. We'll see. Uh, maybe we'll do him as a giveaway or something tomorrow on the stream. Um, and again, guys, if, if you are interested, I am going to be doing a stream possibly tonight, which is Saturday, um, a Madden stream, but we'll see on that. It might just tr end up being like a Plants vs. Zombies, Monopoly, Madden, just like all kind of like a, a cornucopia of games, if you will, uh, tonight on stream if I if I end up doing a stream. It'll probably be later in the evening if we do one. Um, but then tomorrow, I'm actually going to the, uh, the Minnesota Wild versus the Chicago Blackhawks game, which is uh, it's a hockey game, if you guys are unaware. And we're actually going to TCF Bank Stadium, which is a football stadium where the Minnesota Gophers college football team plays. So this is actually an outdoor hockey game, which is kind of cool. The weather is actually sounding like it's going to be decent. I live in Minnesota, so decent weather means like 40 degrees. It's I think it's going to be around like 32 to 40 degrees, so it might actually be above freezing, which is going to make things interesting because obviously ice needs, you know, cool air temperature to stay frozen. So I think that's going to be a little bit interesting to see uh, see what ends up happening. I know they're playing the, what is it called, the alumni game today, which is uh, old Chicago Blackhawks players, like from historical years, against old Minnesota Wild players and old Minnesota North Stars players from like way back in the day. We get a Campus Heroes patch, interesting, okay. Um, but uh, yeah, tomorrow that should be a lot of fun. I'm going to be going to that at, I think it's at... I think the game is at like 2.30 central time, somewhere around there. So I probably won't be home until around like 6 p.m.-ish, something like that. So it's probably going to be an evening stream tomorrow for Pink Slips. But I want to hear from you guys. Um, I mean, should we do like for Pink Slips tomorrow? I, I, I've, I've been doing it. The way that I've been doing it so far is basically asking you guys what you want to see us do for Pink Slips. Um, and we get a road sign in Atlanta. Nice. I know the road signs are actually pretty rare. That's that's a pretty sweet pull. Very, very happy about that. Okay. Um, I don't know if all of them are rare. I think all of them are rare. But uh, but anyways, that's I think that's the first one of those that I've pulled this year. But again, guys, do you want to see me pull or do you guys want to see me do uh, a thing where we like put a, a, you know, some sort of a thing on Twitter, like a poll or something like that, where I give you guys like three, four options to pick between and then uh, whatever one gets the most votes is what we end up playing for. Or would you guys rather do me, uh, have me do the wheel? And the we the problem with the wheel is that I don't have a whole lot of cards that I can give away off of my team right now. Um, so like it, it, the other problem, of course, is that. I, the wheel would have to be somewhat lower priced cards as well. Like we're talking like, you know, like a hundred to 150,000 coin cards versus being like 400,000 coin cards. That's kind of what I was thinking. Like somewhere between like 250 or 200, somewhere between like 250 to 400,000, somewhere in that range is the price that I was thinking as far as like if we just do it on a poll, because then I can just go on there and buy that card whenever it's available, um, you know, for a good price and then give it away, of course. So, what do you guys think about that? I mean, is it better for me to do a poll, or is it better for me to do, um, as we get another Greg Robinson, cool, um, is, is it better for me to do a poll, or is it better for you guys to, uh, or for us to do some sort of a Wheel of Fortune type of thing like we had done in the past? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you think about that. I'm personally leaning toward just doing a poll every week, because that way I can kind of pick the cards that I want, and we get a final edition Brandon Graham. Nice! Okay, that's a pretty cool pull. Let's compare him against our current right outside linebacker, which is Taylor Mays. Mays obviously has some speed and acceleration and hit power, um, but he actually has solid hit power himself. Really good block shedding, nice tackling, strength. Um, let's take a look at the uh, coverage attributes because that's more of actually what I care about. Let's see here. Although I do run like, I, I run a combination of 3-4 and 4-3 defenses. He's, he's a much better pass rusher than Taylor Mays is, of course, with the 97 power move. Zone coverage, still, it's not very good. I mean, 72 zone coverage is not very good. And I don't usually use her that position, but I really do like this Brandon Graham card. This is my first final edition pull, so I'm definitely happy about that. I, I actually want to do a quick shout-out. I really like the final edition logo that they did as well. 
Um, I, I think they've done such a good job of making the cards look cool this year. The best ones were the the um, the most feared cards. Those were so sick looking. They always are every year. But I think they've done a really good job on like these final editions as well. The Ultimate Legends looked really cool. The Super Bowl cards were freaking epic looking as well. And I say that as like, a, a, I'm a graphic designer if you guys don't know that. Um, I'm a web designer slash graphic designer for my job. So uh, I really look at that kind of stuff a lot. And uh, it's kind of important to me what the card looks like, to be honest with you. So we've got what? Like three or four more pro packs here. Before we, uh, before we switch on over and open up the Legend Packs. We haven't gotten a Calvin yet or a Terrell Suggs. We've gotten a couple other cool pulls. So it's not uh, uh, not always lost, at least. But um, definitely not like an amazing pack opening video or anything so far. So, oh, don't want to open up that. But hopefully we can get something good here. Also, guys, I want to ask you a question here. Since we're talking about Calvin Johnson today... Do you guys think he's done as we get a Devin Fungus, the potential replacement uh, for Kelvin Benjamin down in uh, Carolina? Obviously, Kelvin, uh, yeah, Kelvin Benjamin is, uh, he, he was injured this year, and we didn't really get to see a whole lot of Devin Funches. He really was kind of a little bit mediocre, but, um, but anyways, I, I want to hear from you guys. I mean, do you guys think Calvin Johnson's done, or are we going to see more from Megatron? Like, is it possible that we get one more season out of him? Or is this it? He, I think he's claiming that he's done. So I'm kind of interested to see what ends up happening with that as we get a Terrence William. We got one more here. One more gold. We get a Matt Bryant there. Cool. Um, but I really do think this is Calvin's final year. This past year was his final year. And it's sad because I'll tell you guys. I mean, if you guys don't know, Calvin Johnson, despite me being a Cowboys fan, is actually my favorite player in the NFL right now. I think he's unbelievable. I think he's a, a first ballot Hall of Famer seems like maybe a first ballot hall of famer type of person too um he never got in trouble off the field or anything like that never got any like suspensions or drug abuse there was never any domestic violence or anything like that i mean it's it's almost kind of rare at this point for for guys like that age um you know in this era of football to to come up and and be so great and have such so much money at a young age and not have any of those problems so um you know i love calvin johnson again i i wish he wasn't retiring i do think this is his final year but uh we're gonna try and pull this card man we've got two legend packs that we can pull it's gonna put us right at the seven million mark wish us some luck guys this is the legend packs 75,000 coins each or you can of course pay for them with 750 points wish us some luck guys let's go come on one time baby come on ryan fitzpatrick okay and a legend badge damn it Oh my goodness, dude, when that freaking turns. I always forget that you get guaranteed like some sort of a legend item in le legend packs. I don't know why I forget that. It makes sense. But we do get a legend badge. All right. We got one more, guys. Wish us some luck. And by the way, guys, if you enjoyed this video, it's a little bit longer of one than usual. But if you did enjoy the video, do me a favor. Click that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you guys are new. And let's continue here, guys. Final one. Let's go from the back. Vin Curry, okay, Frosty Rucker, come on, one time with this Calvin, let's go, come on, we get a Vince Wilford 2011 collectible, I think that's worth like absolutely nothing, unfortunately, so, Legend Packs were a little bit of a dud, guys, but we did get a couple other things that were worth a little bit, at least, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, again, do me a favor, click the like button, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and guys, comment below with all the different things that I commented on during the video, let me know what you guys think about it, Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Hey guys, if you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor, click that subscribe button on the right side of your screen right now. Otherwise, you can always check out my previous video by clicking on the left side of the screen. Thank you guys again.